What's up guys? Welcome back to another Dirt Track Duel. Um, today I am again flying solo. Nate, uh, one of his kids got sick, which in turn made another kid sick, which in turn made all the kids sick. And him and his wife are now sick. So he's uh, home, taking it easy today. And said he'll be around. We're talking about doing some tracks, and it doesn't really matter because it's snowing here in Michigan. Again, it's not supposed to be snowing. We've had navvies out, we've had fun, we've had four wheelers and dirt bikes out, but no, we're gonna start snowing again. So, I'm gonna do a video and I'm gonna show you my trailer where I sleep, haul my side by side, and snore and fart and burp and my trailer. We camp in it, so check it out. So this bad boy is a 20, maybe, shit, I can't remember. It's a 7x14 Neo aluminum enclosed cargo trailer. So one of the first things I did as soon as I got it is I knew we were going to take the side by side and we wanted to camp in it, me and the wife and the two kids. I had some windows installed. I got windows on each side. And then we painted the walls and hung lights up, which run off the Jackery. I have a Jackery just in case I'm running like boondocking. I also have power drilled in through the side, which runs to this bad boy which we have a little TV, DVD player. Got it free off some Facebook site. Kids watch wreck -It Ralph and crap like that in there. So that's the front of the trailer. It's a V-nose. Keep my cords and everything over there. It's put away for the winter. That is the brace I use to bring my side-by-side -side in. I have this. This is a drill driven winch. That's how I pull the buggy in here because I can pull it in here, but my big ass can't get out. That sucks. So I have to have the winch. No big deal though. Got some curtains here. My mommy in law made these for me. Looks so nice. Close them up at night. Maybe. Yeah, see? No peeping toms. Nobody wants to see what you're doing in here. Here's some rugs down. Got a workbench from Harbor Freight. Bolted that bad boy right into the floor. Got some cheap vinyl flooring. The sticky stuff that sucks. You can see it's already coming up, but I don't care about that. That, uh, yeah. There's some E-Track. I have E-Track under these back to corners here that's for the side by side so it's locked in there and then it's locked in back there it doesn't go anywhere oh uh, it's cold I promise you that what's the temperature in here right now uh, 48 feels like it's colder than that got a fire extinguisher I have a screen but me and Jack Daniels and kids and a pit bull kind of kind of tore it up so I gotta get into one of those got some uh, junk here in these little baskets this thing's perfect it's locked of course but I can keep my stuff down there cooking stuff and side by side stuff and in here is just a bunch of lights and candles, flashlights. I just said that. Just a bunch of junk. I got my tote from last year. Just got some pans and cook stuff to cook that I didn't cook when camping. It's a nice trailer. I enjoy it thoroughly. It wasn't. It was either this or a motorhome, and I kind of went with this. Got my 222 sign up there. The blog. Old blog. 
yeah, it's come together real nice. I got bunk bed cots for my kids. They fit right here. I have one goes across back there. One goes right here. There's my spare tire. I took it out of the ram because I got rid of the ram. And uh, it's cold out here. Yeah, it's comfortable. I have a uh, icy breeze cooler. Definitely recommend one of those if you camp and you're a crybaby like me, and you need to be bougie, and you get one of these coolers, worth the money. 90 degree day we were camping, I threw that cooler in here with ice, it got chilly in here. It was, it was unbelievably hot outside. And then I have a little uh, electric heater. If we have power, I'll plug that in. I had to use that at St. Helen last year. It got cold, but yeah. Got my little bug light and there's the bench, radio, extension cords, cushions, there's my canopy. Yeah, this was worth it. I enjoy it. I like it. I have no problem sleeping in here. I wish I would have got a little bit bigger. But reality set in, and that comes with a bigger truck. 7x14 is perfect for me, two kids, and a dog. And for what we do, we're out riding. You know, we're out all day long. I don't remember what Nate's is. I know I can't stand up in it, but he has done a lot of work to his, so stay tuned for a video on that one. His is all tongue and groove pine wall and all kinds of neat stuff. So, yeah. That'll do it for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. You'll see this trailer some more. I'll do a walk around here when I go outside. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. Here's the back of the trailer. It's a dual axle. It's really light. It's all aluminum. That's different. Don't forget to put that in if you're backing out. That'll suck. There's a window. Door. There's the old heavy Chevy. Yeah, I'm impressed. I like it. And it feels like it's more sturdier than one of those RVs. They're, uh, I had one of those. Toy hauler. Felt like I could fall through the floor. Probably could have if I would have jumped hard enough. So, see you next time.